When I was young, I would say that I'm the audience's eyes because I'm the first one that sees the movie. Essentially what I do, I read the story and, and, and through the written material, I try to come up with some visual metaphors that are significant to improve the story. We don't talk much about it. The story is pretty clear. We, I think that's the, that's the longevity of the relationship, right? We're making the same movie. We may say, you know, we're not gonna make the, we're not gonna make a movie where low angles on the Nazis, you know, to the evil. Let's make him not be evil, right? So when you look at Schindler's List, Oscar Schindler, it's always half lit, you know. He came to Poland to make money. Jews, yeah, investors. He must have contacts in the Jewish business community working here. And then when he's realizing his power, he's lit, lit brightly. He discovered humanity and he started saving people. I'm on Gert, and the, the Nazi guy. Bright light, always beautiful, angelic. There's no ambiguity about him because, you know, he's bad. Oscar was still trying to find out who he was. Am I here for money? Dark. Am I here for, for people? More light, more light, more Some day, this is all going to end, you know. It's a wonderful profession because you get the chance to create this language that, that I didn't invent the language. All the technology was there. The techniques were there. I just borrowed some here. I just borrowed some there. I just borrowed some there. Put it together, mix it together, and, and it came out, oh, it works. I feel something, right? So that's good. Bravo. Thank you. It was fun. I'll come back next year.